Here at WOOKLAP, we believe in sharing knowledge, reflecting together, and helping each other. These values are key in the learning environment as well as the world we live in. This is why we're launching the collaboration feature for your WOOKLAP events. Please note that this feature is only available for organizations which acquired a WOOKLAP license for all of their collaborators, for companies which purchase a bundle of at least 30 WOOKLAP Pro licenses, or for organizations which are currently trying to tool in the pilot phase with our team. Collaboration is not available for self-serve free plans for teachers in primary and secondary education. My name is Anais, Customer Care Manager at WOOKLAP, and today I'm going to show you how this brand new feature works in three simple steps. First things first, select the event on which you would like to collaborate. You can either create a new WOOKLAP event by clicking on the button Create Event, or choose an event you've already created. Here, I'm going to choose an event that I already have created. Let's add some collaborators next. Please note that for security reasons, you will only be able to invite WOOKLAP users that belong to your organization. Bear in mind that the people who have access to a collaborative WOOKLAP event fall under two categories, the author category and the collaborator category. The event's author is the person who created the event. Here, that person is me. The collaborators are the people who were added to the event by its author. Only the event's author can add and remove collaborators by using the email address linked with their WOOKLAP account. To add collaborators, click on the cog symbol to access your event settings, then select More Options. Head down towards the Collaborators section. Write the email address linked with the WOOKLAP account of the collaborator you wish to add to the event. Here, I'm adding my colleague Tom with his email address tom at wooklab.com. Feel free to repeat this action as many times as needed to add all of the collaborators you want. Once a collaborator has been added to your event, they will receive an invitation by email informing them that they have been invited to collaborate on a WOOKLAP event. Once the invitations have been sent, an icon will appear on the right side of your event to inform you that various people have access to it. Thanks to this feature, a whole new world of possibilities awaits you. If you are part of a group of several teachers and are preparing a class together on WOOKLAP, you can now create your content in the same unique event. Do you want to build a question bank? Icebreakers or questions on a particular subject? Well, now you can! All you have to do is to create your questions in a unique WOOKLAP event and add all of the WOOKLAP users from your organization with whom you would like to share that resource. Are you a teaching assistant looking to prepare the content of the class for the teacher that will present it? You've guessed it, it's also possible. Once the other teacher has been added as a collaborator, they will have full access to the WOOKLAP event and will be able to easily approve its content or give feedback. Please keep in mind the following about the collaboration feature. When you are editing your WOOKLAP event with several people, each person can create, delete or modify questions in the event. Everybody can also change the event settings. However, only the event's author can delete the event, add or remove collaborators. It's also important to keep in mind that if a person launches the WOOKLAP event while somebody else is editing it, the question will be displayed on all screens. If a collaborator wishes to modify an event that is currently in progress, a pop-up window will appear as a warning. Did you receive an email invitation to collaborate on an event but can't access the event once you're logged into WOOKLAP? If you haven't verified the email address linked to your WOOKLAP account yet, you might not be able to access the events to which you have been invited as a collaborator. Once your email address is verified, you will be able to access the event. What happens if the event's author decides to delete the event that they have shared? If you are the event's author, all the collaborators will lose their access to the event once it's deleted. 
A collaborator can leave an event as long as they are not the event's author. This will make them lose their access to the event, but they will not be able to delete it. So, are you and your colleagues ready to try this feature out yourselves? Thanks to collaboration, building pedagogical content in WooClap has never been so easy.